this is Tour to Bike Lane. Tour to Bike Lane is a, an event that was started by David Confer in 2014 or 2015, and it's meant to celebrate riding bikes. Get up there, get up there, yeah! So the idea is to cheer on anybody coming through and make them feel like they're completing a stage in the Tour de France. Lots of noise making, cheering, Venezuelas. We yell thanks for riding a bike, and we just try to have a good time. We want to give a little bit of joy in their day. You know, riding bikes is a lot of fun. Commuting sometimes can be a grind with all the cars, and this was meant to be a, an event that made you happy. Uh, one of the things that David did is he knit together the bike messenger community, commuters, and people who only participated in social rides into seeing themselves as a community, into doing things together. A lot of times those different factions of cycling don't always interact a lot. And he brought us all together with different events and this idea that we were all part of one community. Fabian, Craig, come talk about David. Who was he? Who was he? in the cycling community here in DC? David built all of my bicycles. Every single bike that I own, David built, put together. All. David, uh, mainly a friend, a neighbor, also a bike mechanic, and a huge influence on the cycling culture in DC. He also did the Not Cool Bro ride. That was a ride meant to talk about um, catcalling women and the importance of men holding each other accountable for the way in which they treat women in our community. Bike party was a really big one. David showed up at the very beginning with that event. He helped organize the rides, he helped plan the routes, and he had a way of engaging with people that made everyone feel seen and welcomed and like they were part of something. And he brought that same sense of belonging to all of the events that he created. Yo, you first. Yo, you're first. I gotta get first. Oh, you're gonna be me. You're first. I saw him first. Okay, all right. He's first. Okay. I said the best will kill that shit. It's only like a 20 minute race. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. Damn. Hold up. Nigga. Hold on. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab they need a sticker. Hey, you shoot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. Hustle, hustle! Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Alley, 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 alley! Get up! David and I were partners. We were together for eight years, and we we did a lot of cycling events together. He uh, he came up with the ideas, and I did whatever I could to support and enable him to pull them off successfully. Hustle, hustle, hustle! Yeah! David had, was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver, and we thought that he was getting really good care at first, and it wasn't until he started getting sicker, and they kept sort of delaying transplant evaluation and coming up with excuses that we started to think there was something wrong. What I've learned in the time since David died was that liver transplant in particular tends to be very biased against black people. And there are a lot of assumptions made about people's lifestyles and how that can lead to liver failure. And it, it's a, a huge issue that the medical community is only just starting to address. And I'm hoping that as part of his legacy, I can advocate for more equal treatment for people and not engaging in um, personal biases in how you evaluate whether or not someone deserves a chance to have a life. Thank you for riding a bicycle. Thank you for riding